gentlemen and welcome back to First and Ten Sports Talk. My name is JR and today we're going to be breaking down the Fiesta Bowl between Notre Dame and Ohio State. So both teams had pretty good seasons. Notre Dame ended 10 and 2, Ohio State 11 and 1. Uh, obviously no playoffs for them, which was expected by many people, but fell short just at the end, which obviously this was definitely you could say an underachieving team from what people expected but this game is maybe the most interesting out of the New Year's Six which you know I, w I wouldn't say that it is the most interesting because there are other very good matchups but both these teams are very uh, balanced you could say Notre Dame I would say is more balanced uh, it's very solid offense but Deshaun Kaiser I think he is their second string quarterback that stepped in and is having a phenomenal season. Uh, the running back CJ Prezis has rushed for over 1,000 yards, and their star wide receiver Will Ford has also had more than 1,000 receiving yards. So, so Notre Dame is full of big time players that make big plays, you know, big times. And defensively, they have a lot of talent there, a lot of talent. And I think this game is going to be decided on which Ohio State team shows up. Is this going to be the team that can't move the ball for anything? Or is this going to be the team that can run the ball very effectively, just like they did against Michigan? I don't know if they solved their problems by putting their offensive coordinator up in the box. I don't know if that's going to work or if that was just... I don't know what happened when they played Michigan, but it was like a whole new team. So maybe that was what they were missing. Uh, all I know is uh, this is going to be just a great, great game. Both very talented teams. I think the key is going to be the defense in these games. I think whoever can stop the big plays from happening is going to end up winning the game. Which I think it's going to be. There's going to be a lot of big plays in this game because two explosive offenses with very talented players on both teams all around. So. I think this is going to be a relatively high scoring game, probably in the 30s to the 40 point area. But in the end, I would say if Ohio State shows up, I think Urban Meyer is going to have them ready to go. And I think Ohio State will win a close one if they show up like they did in their last game. If they play like they did most of the season, then I don't think they have very good chances considering Notre Dame has been pretty consistent throughout the entire season. But I think Urban Meyer is going to have them ready to go. Another big game, and I don't think Ohio State's going to. I don't think they're going to fail us like they did last time against Michigan State. Urban Meyer is a big game coach, so I think he's going to have them prepared and ready to go. So assuming they show up, I think Ohio State wins close. Uh, otherwise, I think Notre Dame takes it. So thank you everyone so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, this is First and Ten Sports Talk. And now.